Yo what's up Kempsey here and welcome to my news tutorial in which I will show you how to make this ripple effect I used in my latest speed art in the saw background. So basically Trone also made a tutorial on this and um, I've got this effect from him so please go and check him out he's also a really sick Lightroom designer so leave a like and a comment on his tutorial and also go subscribe him um, yeah you won't regret it. So Basically, Louis also got this effect in his uh, GFX pack, so I'm gonna put this link in the description as well. So I'm gonna put Trones uh, channel, Louis channel, and Trones tutorial and Louis GFX pack into the description. Uh, so go check them out and subscribe to them. Um, but yeah, now let's get it started. Basically, first thing you're gonna do is uh, go to MoGraph. Wait, first of all, I'm gonna delete this one. Um, Go to MoGriff, MoText. I'm gonna call it tutorial. I'm gonna add the depth to about 250, 100, 100 is enough. 100 is enough. Um, I'm gonna use the font uh, Elemental and it's a pretty good font. And I can see this pretty good at uh, this font. So make it a bit smaller like this. Um, and now uh, I'm just gonna do the normal stuff, add some fillet caps. Um, as usual, you need to play around with the settings as well. It depends from font to font and from the size of the text. Like this is a small text, so radius 1 is sick. But if the text would be bigger, I would recommend radius 2. Would look pretty cool as well. So I'm just gonna duplicate that. I'm gonna make a two layer text. I'm gonna put the step and radius to two. I'm um, gonna track it a bit into the back, like this. Um, I'm gonna add materials like usual. And yeah, so I'm making it orange and gray. So basically, now we are coming to the part we are doing. Uh, we are doing uh, the ripple effect. So first of all, you create a null object. You drag the tax layers into here. You go to MoGraph Factor and uh, Random, and you see this now. Now, what you're gonna do is go to Factor. First of all, track the Random Factor in this little object as well. Put the strength to about three percent or five. It really depends from the font. You will see what I mean later. Um, but put the seeds to zero. Parameters. I like to put the PX and forty. PY on 40 and the P set on 40. Just uh, play around with the settings, just to your to your personal li <coughs> likings and preferences. Now put the form on point, and you will see there's the ripple effect. So basically, it it's kind of different from font to font. On this one, the strength three is pretty good. Um, on some, you need like eight or ten percent. On some one is enough. I'm gonna put it on three for this tutorial. Um, so you see, there's the ripple effect. Just play around whatever fonts you use. Um, it can be 10% or 1%. Just really depends. So I'm gonna render this out now. So it looks like this. I'm gonna rendering it like here. So. Um, open it up with Photoshop. It looks like this in Photoshop, so uh, it's kind of dark at the sides now. I'll make this a bit like this. Yeah. Um, just use some effects um, on the 3D text, like you usually do, and you see there's this ripple effect now. It's a pretty cool uh, effect. And it's really easy to use, and it's it's not taking too long to make it. So um yeah, I hope I could I have helped you out with this. Um if so, please like, comment and subscribe and also go check out Trone and Louie and yeah. I'm out, peace.